do you feel like there's a lot on your chest then this message is for you i'm gonna hit it from a couple different vantage points number one let's hit it from this vantage point magician in reverse now i actually like the snake symbolism and i love the magician it's one of my favorite cards if not my favorite card what i want to talk about first is psychic attack okay magician in the reverse now i'm gonna hit it from the spiritual perspective and then i'm gonna hit it from the more logical perspective because i believe in both i think they're two sides of the same coin and they both explain the phenomenon of feeling it's it's like this too it's also this <laughs> Ooh, i like this hat <sighs> yeah very met gala of me <laughs> If you're feeling like this as well, feeling stressed because see it's on the head now. I should have brought the high priestess out too. <laughs> but in two different decks, I had this phenomenon coming through. All right. So if you're feeling like there's a lot on your chest and a lot going on up here to the point where you're having trouble sleeping, you're stressed, you feel kind of confused in your thoughts one of two things it could very well be some sort of psychic attack and what is a psychic attack is it is it a bunch of people standing around a cauldron sending you evil intentions i mean maybe <laughs> very well it could be <laughs> or is it people just sitting around gossiping about you that's probably more accurate words are spells and so if you're feeling a lot of confusion in your mind that could be why and i'm not i'm not sharing this message to be like people are talking about you i, I don't that's not the kind of reader i am okay <laughs> i just got my magician card lipsticked up what i am here to talk about is something that i've experienced since i was a child personally and how i've dealt with it because i've dealt with this to the point of I mean, well, recently, I haven't been able to sleep. <laughs> so I'm talking about this today because I, it was brought to my attention that this is a collective energy. This isn't like just me. And a lot of you are very intuitive and, and psychic and empathic where you can pick up other people's energies. So if there is ill intent against you, yes, I am gonna leave <laughs> the snake on my head. <laughs> if there are ill intentions towards you, it's like you feel it and you take it personally now what i want to say is we can take all of this as an opportunity why is that because with the magician the magician has the roses as well with the magician there is always the opportunity for reinvention and if somebody is coming against you with ill intention it is always every time without fail no matter what an opportunity 333 three, three, as i just said this that reminds me of the empress the empress reminds me of abundance the empress reminds me of like glow up energy like if somebody has ill intention for you it's always an opportunity to glow up even more it's always an opportunity to become a better version of yourself to expand yourself to reinvent yourself with this snake as I have the snake here and the rose, it's like somebody might be a magician in the reverse, but you're a magician in the upright. We're all magicians. We're all ma manifestors. We're all the creators of our own reality. So when somebody sends you ill intention, look at it actually as like, wow, this is, this is an opportunity. Because... You know, if you're just like working on yourself, you're you're working on whatever you're working on in your life, you know, you're doing your thing. It's like, how do I say this, spirit? If you're doing all those things, especially if you're a super busy person, you might not take the time. Sorry for the noise, guys. You might not take the time to invest in yourself further because you're so busy or because this and that. But if you're put in a position where somebody has, like, ill intention towards you or something, it's 
it's almost as if they're giving you an opportunity to do something that you wouldn't have done unless they came through with this negative energy. It's giving you the opportunity to be a magician as well. They might be a magician in the reverse, but you're a magician in the upright, and it's giving you the opportunity. It's, it's like they're actually handing you an opportunity, is my point, so that you can become a better version of yourself in both decks the ace of cups came through it's like if somebody is coming through with ill intention or even if it's just like the retrogrades like say you're feeling like swirling thoughts in your head and a lot of us are or you know people are coming back from the past or what have you it's like this is just an opportunity to go deeper within yourself within your self-love within your development it's always an opportunity it's never it's like even the negatives like esther hicks calls this contrast and i i like how she looks at it that way it's like even if it is something negative and it feels negative and it feels heavy on your chest and on your mind let's put it back on the head again <laughs> even if it feels like this I'm not I'm not downplaying it. I'm not saying that you you haven't been struggling or that it's not a challenge to overcome this stuff because it absolutely is and I'm not going to downplay that at all. But what I am going to say is it's always an opportunity to love yourself more, to become a better version of yourself, to take the snake that they threw your way and make a hat out of it, you know? Like use it as to your advantage. Use people's jealousy and bad intentions and all that to actually love yourself more to go deeper within yourself and to use that energy that's thrown at you and actually take that energy and transmute it like a true magician really would and use it to your advantage just to reinvent yourself even more to become a better version of yourself to become even more like the reasons why they attacked you to begin with it's like just become more of that become even more of that you know what i'm saying so it's like of course protection spells and you know take necessary precautions and all of this of course but at the end of the day each and every one of us we are magicians and we can always transmute energy we can always take what's thrown at us and turn it around and use it to our advantage every single time and that's why you can go forward in life without fear because no matter what happens no matter what comes your way bad situations bad people uh psychic attacks all this stuff or even just you know take it more in the logical sense like oh what if my business fails what if it does it's like okay that's chapter one of your success story it's like okay uh three businesses failed oh my god chapters one two and three are done of your book before you you hit your glow up as long as you don't give up you have not failed Oh, well, all these people are going to say this about me and they're going to think this about me. Let them. You take that energy, transmute it, use it to your advantage like a true magician would. Because we're all magicians. And that's why this is one of my favorite, if not my favorite cards. You are more powerful than you realize. And start acting like it. I love you. See you on the next one.